What's up, YouTube? Mr. Jimbo Fox here, back from the dead. I uh, haven't put out a uh, gear review for you guys in a little bit here, so I thought I'd give everyone a nice little holiday treat, um, it being Christmas Eve and all, and uh, just, you know, give you guys a, you know, an update, let you know I'm still alive, still breathing, still kicking, still tracking, still going, and uh, give you guys a little gear review here, a little EDC update. So here, uh, we have the Maxpedition Fatboy Versapack. Um, I have this as an upgrade from my Maxpedition Proteus. I just found that um, the stuff that I like to carry with me on a daily basis just kept piling up and I needed something a little bit bigger uh, to, you know, to carry that stuff with me. You know, I just needed more, more room to carry all my junk. So um, I just looked at their catalog and I found that this uh, was the best option for me. Um, not much up in price compared to the Proteus. Uh, about uh, 55, 60 bucks, you know, in your retail market. It's not too bad. Uh, so, well, let's get into some technical specs here. Okay. Uh, first thing we got here, you'll notice, is we got the big two and a half inch uh, shoulder strap here with the nice mesh pad on it. That moves, by the way. It is adjustable. And uh, we got the nice big fatty clip here. Uh, so you can just, you can, you know, detach this thing on the go. You don't have to sling it over your shoulder and take it off if you want to drop it to the ground or what have you. Um, let's see, right here we've got a keeper um, in which I keep, let's see, what do I got? I got my Swiss Tech um, multi-screwdriver, you know, which as, I think I mentioned that, yeah, it was in the zombie video. A uh, little paracord lanyard and my sunglass cleaner right there. A uh, nice little uh, uh, Molly uh, Pal web attachment there if you want to stick something else in there, like, um, I don't know, like a, an extra pen or flashlight or something. But let's go into the other stuff. Um, uh, according to Max Expedition, this is supposed to be used as a cell phone case, um, which is fine. I put my BlackBerry in there before and it fits no problem. Um, but since I've got the, the M2 waste pack here, I actually use this to carry my sunglasses. And it fits in there just fine. Uh, you got the nice uh, double pen on the side of the pouch. Very common with Max Expedition products, very useful. Got the clicky pen on one side and the Sharpie on the other. Um, over here, in the pouch on my right, got my spare folder, my Benchmade mini ambush, and my little knife tool that I can use on, I think, 90% of my folding knives, just in case I need to take them apart or clean them or adjust them or anything. Uh, let's see, on the left, we have my illumination pouch. Um, we got my Phoenix P3D CE here um, with a little very common aftermarket modification uh, that I found on the internet. You can take a, a mini mag light accessory kit, which is like five bucks. And uh, you can take the clip on it, and it will fit um, several of, uh, of Phoenix's lights. I think anything with a AA or a CR123, you can just stick it on there and mix it great with a pocket clip. Uh, stick that guy back in there. And then we got the Leatherman LGX200. Always good to have a backup. It's nice. It's got a nice adjustable uh, Velcro here. So if you, I think it was originally designed for magazines or maybe a bigger flashlight or something, but. Nice big thick Velcro strap on there, so if you want to carry something taller, it's no problem. Um, up top here, I'm not currently using this, but it has a built-in uh, concealed carry weapons pouch. Um, I've got the holster in there. Um, it's just kind of nice simply because, you know, the bag is riding like right about there, which is right where you would get to draw a gun, you know, if you're pulling it from the hip holster. Uh, so for all you folks out there with a concealed carry weapons permit that do carry a firearm on a daily basis, something like this is actually, at least in my opinion, a pretty good option. Um, you know, as opposed to an inside the waistband holster or something like that. Good stuff. Um, in the front here, I think Roscoe BA put it best. This is kind of my, my comfort pouch. Um, just a few basic things, a little detergent pen, uh, body spray, you know, can't be letting the man funk loose. And a uh, fingernail clipper. And let's see, in the front here we got a little nice little mini pocket there, my little spare battery for my Blackberry and some chapstick, nothing special. And in the front, you got this nice little fold down pouch that comes down almost all the way so you can get to your stuff. i uh, got some hand lotion, a uh, 2 gb flash drive, a little notepad in case I need to write something down, and the data cable for my, uh, my Microsoft Zoom, good stuff. On top here, uh, this is really cool. Um, it's got this little draw cinch here, so in case you are out and about and you get into like a rainstorm 
or something like that, and you've got some valuables in here, like say the, the camera that I'm recording this on, um, I keep in here, and you want to keep them dry, you can pull that sucker shut, you know, pull the pull the draw sense shut, close this over here, and I wouldn't say it's waterproof, but definitely water resistant, you know. Always nice to have that added layer of protection. And the top, I'm not sure if you guys can see this, let me turn on the light for you. Um, it's got a little divider in the middle. Let me take all this junk out. First aid kit, duct tape, hand crank cell charger, digital phone, spare key, tape measure, Swiss Army knife. Oh, there's some things. Um, towel pills, kind of an upgraded version here. Comes with its own little case. Uh, you can see that on Color Lovers channel, but good stuff. Not sure if you can see that. Let me get a flashlight in there. Um, it's got a nice little, it's got two dividers on either side. Um, and a uh, like kind of a big space in the middle. Um, so you got two nice little, uh, two nice little mesh pockets in there so you can stick things in there. I keep my digital camera and the, uh, the flip camcorder on one side and first aid kit and all that kind of other stuff on the other side. And it's got a nice, I mean, look how far my arm goes in there. It's up to my forearm. So you got a lot of room in there um, to keep all your stuff, you know, and, and also, you know, because you got the dividers in there, you can keep it organized, which is always very, very important, at least in my opinion. Anyway, let's pull this jump back in here. See all this crap I carry with me on a basis. here two cool things um, we got a, a belt loop uh, so that you can attach this to your belt so when you're carrying around you got to haul ass to the metro or the you know subway or the bus stop or something like that the bag's not flopping around flying all over the place um, it's also got the nice breathable mesh which really comes in handy during the summertime um, because you know I wouldn't want material like this rubbing up against me and just you know just scratching the hell out of me when I'm already sweating so it's nice Soft, breathable mesh material, good stuff. Um, same thing that's on the the, uh, the shoulder strap here. Um, overall, I'm very satisfied with this. Um, I think it's a very cool um, way to you know to rock your EDC. Uh, very versatile. You can add things to it. I'm probably going to add a pouch over here, maybe another one right here, uh, just to upgrade my space. And um, I just I think it's great. You know, it's a little messenger bag style deal, and one of Macpedition's. Uh, best products in my opinion, at least, you know, of all the ones I own, I'm very satisfied. I uh, just want to give a big thanks to all the, the comments and the subscriptions and everything. All you guys have been great. I really appreciate those. I um, had a very special video uh, coming, uh, should be in the next couple weeks. Um, I'm going on a uh, little weekend excursion um, out into the wilds where I'm going to uh, bring my camera with me and show you guys a few things, a few new things, um, as promised. Um, I think, I'm not going to spoil it for you, but I think all of you, uh, all the fans out there um, of my Tom Brown T1 Tracker video, I seem to get the most comments on that. Um, I think all of you are really going to get a kick out of this video on several levels and for several reasons. So please stay tuned. Um, my girlfriend, uh, we did Christmas a little bit early since she was going to be out of town, um, pr pretty much hooked me up with a ton of gear. Um, so I need to use all that stuff and put it through the paces and uh, so I can you know, crank out a um, a gear review here for you and show you guys what I think and how I use it and whether or not I think it's a good product or not. So I'm going to take my time with those, of course. You know, I don't review anything that I haven't uh, used or own or anything. You know, I, I like to give you my my most well-rounded and honest opinion. So I uh, appreciate the patience on those. But anyways, um, I'm going to do a couple more gear reviews here in a minute. And uh, like I said, I've got some, some outdoor demo videos coming. So by all means, please stay tuned. You know